hospitality, stewardship, community, love of learning, respect. When we talk about the values of community and hospitality, respect, stewardship, and love of learning, we have to have all of those values in play because you don't have one without the other. And so I think our values drive our mission and our mission drives everything we, we do here at the college. There is not a day that goes by, or not an hour that goes by, that we, in some context, aren't talking about those core values. Benedict says to listen with the ear of your heart. We need to be able to take the time to really listen and to uh, hear one another, be able to not necessarily, dis not necessarily agree. Um, we will never agree on some things, and yet we have to be able to be open, and that's what I think the deep listening calls us to. The uh, portals by their nature are community engines. That's what they do. When you're starting a project out that's gonna touch an entire community, it's really important to listen. And that was our primary vehicle for understanding how, how a portal's gonna best serve that community. Listen with the ear of the heart was what guided us to, in, in many ways to step back and make sure that we were understanding. My philosophy is to get people involved in technology implementations from the very beginning. The process of getting community input is, is getting the right people in the right room with the right context uh, to frame the discussion because it's not about the technology, it's about what you're gonna do with it. Having people have something in their hands and have them have a way to actually physically build something is a way to get juices flowing. So Sharpies and Post-its really helped pull things together and let people go, here's the name of something I'm concerned about, parking. And it belongs over in this bucket, so I'm going to put parking on this small post-it and I'm going to put it on this bigger post-it that's labeled services. And, and just the process of writing that down, getting their concern on a piece of paper, sticking it on a wall inside another bucket that was in another bucket, they could start to visualize themselves, how things are connected, how pieces are put together, how they are, their little world might relate to the greater community. It was fun to be able to see how the product would be built. Just about every tab came from those sticky notes, from talking about our needs, um, our wants, and our desires, and, and things that would make our jobs easier. From the very beginning, we talked about content stewards, and that it wasn't IT, it wasn't me who was going to add information to the portal, it was them. And they'd bring it back to us and ask us again, okay, here's where we're at. Um, what other insights can you tell us? It's important to really come back to people with, here's what we heard from you. So by the time we started um, with alpha and beta testing in the summer, people were really, really excited. I'm going to be able to provide the information that all staff and faculty expect our department to provide. That's really convenient that you have just one place to go to and you're logged into everything else. I've found a lot more stuff that I didn't even realize was available to me before. I go to call CSS.edu, log in once, and I'm able to access it all. But also it's opening up new possibilities too that maybe we haven't been able to dream before. It's, it just opens up a whole new world of opportunities for students. I'm very proud. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of how um, excited the community is about it. It's, it helps me as a student, as a person, as an athlete, know that I have support uh, among my friends and peers and teachers and faculty and staff, all of that. It's just very satisfying. <laughs>